This is a purple sunscreen. It's also got onion in the formula. What is happening? What is all this about? We're going to do a deep dive into the ingredients and I'm going to give you my opinion on whether this is actually any good and how it compares to my all-time favourite Isntree sunscreen, the Hyaluronic Acid Watery Sun Gel. Let's get on with it. This is the Isntree Purple Protector. It's the Onion New Pair Sunscreen with an SPF of 40 and a PA rating of plus, plus, plus. Not only was this formulated and brought to market by Isntree, but they teamed up with YouTuber Cassandra Bankson, who has a very long history in the skincare industry. Cassandra has had problematic skin in her life and wanted to create an SPF formula that was going to be beneficial for those of you who also had problematic skin. But will this only be appropriate for those of you with problematic skin? Well, no, anyone can use this formula. And if you were wondering if this smells of onion and that's completely put you off, it also doesn't smell of onion either. Even though this doesn't contain any fragrance or essential oils, I'm not quite sure how they've managed it, but it definitely doesn't contain the onion smell. <laughs> So let's talk about what's important. This is a chemical sunscreen with a smooth, non-greasy texture that sinks into the skin really well and doesn't pill up or ball up under makeup. So it sits really nicely under makeup. The filters in here are homosalate for UVB protection, octanoxate, again, for UVB protection, ethyl hexyl salicylate for UVB protection, octocrylene for UVB and a little UVA2, and avabenzone for UVA protection. This also has titanium dioxide for UVB, UVA2, and a little UVA1. It also includes niacinamide for skin brightening and barrier protection, vitamin E, which is also a great antioxidant, but it also helps to boost the protection capabilities of the sunscreen filters in here, and some soothing and calming ingredients like allantoin to reduce inflammation and irritation. For hydration, we've got glycerin, and finally, we've got glycogen proteins within the formula to provide a blurring and smoothing effect on the surface of the skin. So why was Cassandra so passionate about including onion within this formula? And this formula actually includes 5% onion extract for very good reason. These onions are grown locally in Korea and they are very high in antioxidants. They're also high in anti-inflammatories and not only that, they have some really good skin tone evening capabilities. So absolutely superb for anybody with problematic skin. So it does have some great ingredients in here, but why on earth is this purple? I'm not knocking it. I do love the purple shade. It's a very lilac-y shade, but I was a little bit amused when I first saw it. It does dissipate very, very quickly, so you don't end up going out with a purple face. You don't have to worry about that. The reason Cassandra wanted to make this purple was that purple tends to neutralize any discoloration that's on the skin. So if you do have a lot of red acne scars or you have a lot of irritation from your blemish-prone skin, the purple color in here will help to diffuse that and neutralize it on the skin and make your skin look a little bit more even once this is on. Now, it's very negative negligible, but it definitely is there. The pore smoothing effects within this from the glycoproteins is also evident. I think my skin looks better with this on than with this off. In fact, I actually think this looks better with this on than with my favorite sunscreen on, but I'll go into that and how it compares to my favorite one in just a second. So how do both of these compare? Well, the Purple Protector is slightly creamier in consistency. It's also, in my opinion, a slightly heavier formula than the very lightweight watery sun gel. But like I said, I do find that the Purple Protector does blur my pores, whereas the watery sun gel does not. The watery sun gel also doesn't contain those soothing ingredients, so it's not as good at calming blemish-prone skin. The chemical filters in the hyaluronic acid watery sun gel are far superior to the chemical filters in the purple protector. That is just my opinion. Both of these include homosalate and ethyl hexyl salicylate. However, the watery sun gel also includes tinosorb S and M, both broad-spectrum filters, and it also includes 
Juvenal A+, which has seriously high UVA protection, and in my opinion, a much better filter. Of course, the purple protector does only advertise that it has an SPF of 40 in here. I do believe it is slightly more, but they are only allowed to say that it is SPF 40. I wish this was SPF 50, like my watery sun gel, I would be a lot more comfortable using this on a daily basis if that was the protection, especially in summer. But for now, I'm using this as my winter sunscreen and really, really enjoying it, especially those slight blurring capabilities. I'm loving the way my skin looks when I have this on. One word of warning about the purple protector, this does make my eyes sting. So I do have to be careful where I apply this because even if if I apply this on the eyelids and quite far away from underneath the eye, it does migrate into my eyes within half an hour and ironically gives me the same feeling as I get when I've been chopping onions. <laughs> I do think the eye stinging is from some of the chemical filters that are within the purple protector that aren't in the watery sun gel. It's a personal thing. You may react completely differently to the way I react from it, but I do have to be very careful how I apply it around my eyes. I think she's done such an amazing job formulating this. I know it must have been such a stressful experience. It took way over two years to get this exactly how she wanted it. And I think it's a great formula. Do I think this is going to be my ride or die forever more? Probably not. I would love to say that, but you'd all know that I would be lying. This one is still my ride or die. It's still my favorite. I think this is far lighter on my skin. It sinks in a little bit quicker. And yeah, I just love it. I love the chemical filters are in here. Having said that, if you have problematic skin, if you have never found a sunscreen that suits your skin, if you just break out even thinking about a sunscreen, try this one. It is affordable. It is a great formula. Hopefully this will be the one. So that's it for this video. I hope you found it helpful. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Only 50% of the people that watch my videos are subscribed. And I've actually had quite a few people say they thought they'd subscribed and YouTube had actually unsubscribed them which has happened quite a bit. So please make sure you're subscribed, hit that notification bell so you don't miss any future videos like these. Hope to see you all in the next one. Bye everyone.